Delicious. So today we'll be taming the Alpha Plura. So the Alpha Plura on the island map can only be found in caves. So I'm at the cave by the volcano and I'll show you how to pull one out and tame one. Nice. If you do find yourself liking and enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Nice. 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 This is a cave, so you will fight against bats, spiders, and other boys that you don't want to uh, come across. So make sure you've got armor, you've got a weapon to take them on, and then once you find the one you want, carefully kite him out and try and avoid too much of his attacks. As you can see, his spit practically instantly destroys your armor, but once you get him outside, I would recommend using an RGN trying to drag him to some water, because that's the easiest way to complete this thing. Some people recommend bug repellent and then following around and feeding him spoil meat at intervals, but I find that way can backfire on you a lot especially if there's a lot of teams around i would recommend getting on an rg bringing him into some water as soon as he touches the water and he's deep enough he will de-aggro and he won't attack you at all which leaves you open to feed him and without any worry pay them. the only problem with this bit of water i could have had the option to go up to the snow is that this one's filled with piranhas so i had a lot of issues with piranhas and them trying to kill me. this boy does tend to leave the water quite a lot so having the rg nearby on follow and then just dropping him off repeatedly back into the center of the water and then going back to the feeds works out a million times better than trying to follow him on foot as you can see i'm using spoiled meat their favorite food is the broth and enlightenment which i thought you could only make with deaf worm horns but apparently you can now use woolly rhino horns so it would only take two of these for 150 to tame but it's up to you if you want to make them it contains vegetables and some berries and black pearls so if you've got the resources to this do that otherwise you spawn me it's easy it's fast and this tame doesn't take that long like all other passive tames the first tame is the longest but once you've fed him once it's a matter of just 30 second intervals and then you've tamed him so the most valuable thing about these boys is their bite their bite can destroy wood stone metal and even tech structures so these are perfect for raiding and they have an unlimited oxygen bar so you can use them for underwater raids they have an okayish speed on land. Once they hit the water, they do speed up a little bit, but it's nothing to cry about. But they can outswim megalodons, so that's one thing. Before, if you were in a ghillie suit and took one of these into the caves, nothing would attack you. But I've tried and tested this, and it's no longer the case, and you will get attacked. Time to show off its abilities. So the first one is its skin. If anything attacks it, it will take reflect damage. It has a spit as a secondary attack and its main attack is a bite. This is the bite that can damage metal, stone, wood and tech structures. While these boys have a beastly offense, they also have a beastly defense. So if you have loads of these boys set up around your base, you can enable turret mode on them, which will allow them to fire at any attackers in the vicinity. And obviously if anyone tries to come in and start attacking, they will get reflect damage hit them. These boys are now breedable and their spit damage breaks armor still. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next one. Nice, 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 nice.